Hey, Tommy here. I hope you're having an awesome day. I just wanted to let you know the importance of rest and when you should always take at least one day off per week minimum. So there's a few stances that I kind of want to go into with sharing this. And first, I'm going to start with um, from the book of Genesis in the Bible, since I grew up in a a Catholic setting, and I'm familiar with that. I looked it up as that was kind of what came to mind first, but I found a good video that explained, you know, when God took up rest on the seventh day after creating all these things, that rest is just a word that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, relax, relaxing and sleeping, but there were different points in the Bible that use rest as we read it in English now, and they take up different meanings. So my favorite was the fact that uh, taking up rest was giving new covenant. And um, again, that related to uh, starting also a new place. So not just um, the way I basically received that was that this seventh day is in a sense, giving you this sort of, yes, you should, you should take a rest on it. Um, it's almost like all the meanings that the Bible gives to it. But basically, if you worked every single day, uh, you know, and I've done it before, but if you worked, you know, just as hard Monday through Friday as you did Saturday and then Sunday as well, then, you know, you'd be very tired. You just would mentally it would be agonizing. And I wanted to relate it as well as to working out specifically with muscles, right? When you don't give yourself a rest day, your muscles almost deteriorate. You have to at least switch up your uh, your muscles, how you do them, and you know, go to like endurance versus strength training as far as you know, all the different videos that I've looked at just explaining and knowing from my experience in, um, in working out, you know, throughout my life. And uh, I always remember my coaches, you know, explaining that as well. Obviously, it just makes sense. Go ahead and try it and you'll see it's not as beneficial. Uh, but ultimately, what I received with the new covenant um, being... Uh, the New Covenant understanding of the rest day is really uh, the fact that, you know, you go with these five, six days, and specifically for me, I do five full days, and then on Saturdays, I always work a little bit, uh, but it's mainly family time, just like uh, evenings are meant to be for family time on all days. But that Sunday, that final day for me is Sunday could be any time. I remember when I used to work in the um, restaurant industry, Monday. Monday was the rest day because we had to work Saturdays and Sundays to earn what we wanted, you know. But ultimately, uh, you need to give that self, that day to yourself and to all of everything to, uh, I would call, you know, eternal creator what started it all. Just to give gratitude, even if you want to, you know, take it from your perspective of not someone has given you all of these possibilities, but, you know, you just are and you have to give yourself all these opportunities, right? What I mean there is you have to give this time of just like being grateful for, you know, all you done that week, you know, and you could do that every single day, but then how would any day be different, you know, and also I use the weekend as like a celebration point. You should give yourself celebratory times, not necessarily like go ham, you know, get wasted, you know, go out, whatever. Sure, go ahead if you'd like to, but ultimately like, you know, something that gives you this moment that you really can give, you know, grace and appreciation 
and love and attention to being proud of what you completed and being grateful for, you know, where you're at now. So I hope this has helped. I hope you know that you don't need to work every single day. And this is also my kind of, I had a meditation like all day today where I committed that I will have a YouTube video, you know, daily because I really appreciate um, the people that have been watching and um, the people that have, you know, just communicated with me throughout this uh, journey. And I hope to like the pages that I subscribe to and I appreciate I have content that I could watch every day because I enjoy it. You know, these subscribers that I want to check in with each day. So I wanted to make sure that I was uh, committed to that. And the fact that uh, today I was going to post kind of an older video that is, was, you know, awesome, good training. But ultimately I thought, Hey, since I've been meditating on what's this day of rest, I really want to have Sundays to not have anything. I'm going to commit to having all my stuff prepped so that it comes out on Sundays. You know, maybe I'll push it Saturday night or something like that. But ultimately, you know, really give myself that day of rest and make sure that, you know, followers and, and subscribers, you know, people that enjoy this content do get something daily because I appreciate having daily content from the people that I'm subscribed to that I appreciate that much, right? So... That being said, um, I like to help people with tweaks in their lives as, you know, I appreciate when, you know, my good friends and mentors, people that I look up to give me good tweaks in my life. Um, but ultimately, I, I think there's a lot of things that uh, people uh, could do to help their lives really be their ideal lives. And um, I'd love for you to create your ideal lifestyle, whatever that may be. And that might be realizing that if you do the math, one fifth of your week is pretty much things you need to do like eat, hygiene, and sleep. One third of it is, at least the way society has put it, is a nine to five job that you're committed to at least one third of the week if you do the math and another third is you know what you want to do with your life right that's kind of what it is but when I realized I wanted to help people create their ideal lifestyles I want to make sure that if you have the job you love or you create something with a passion that you actually love doing which gives you some sort of income so I appreciate that for you. If you want to connect with me, I can help guide you to tons of resources that are out here right now. We are living in the collaborative age. It's, you know, the information age gave us the ability to connect in a moment's notice to anything we truly need. And now with the collaborative age, we can use our minds in like you know, Christ consciousness or in just elevated consciousness to really think and communicate with the people we need to because not that we need to do it but that we can because we see the collaboration that can occur between you and others um, so I invite you if you'd love to collaborate with me I'd love to collaborate with you in some you know matter and I hope you can help create your ideal lifestyle for yourself so if you want to do that you know check it out down below um, I think I actually have that domain, create your ideal lifestyle or create your lifestyle dot online. But uh, either way, Tommy T here. I appreciate you so much. I hope you get everything you want this week. I hope your previous week you got learning from so that you can go out and kick it hardcore for the next seven days or however you plan your ideal lifestyle. So, peace.